Earlier this year, I read Okumo-chan flashback and wanted to explore a side of manga that I had not really delved into before, that whole sundere weird fetish relationship side of manga. And Koga-san's biting habit was recommended to me. Yeah, this manga fucking sucks, and I'm not surprised to hear that it's getting cancelled. I do not enjoy this manga, and I don't know who else would be into it. Koga-san is about a girl named Koga, who wears a face mask all of the time. This dude in her class named Mochita, he stumbles upon her removing her mask and biting into a stuffed bear. Mochita confronts Koga about it. She then reveals that she has a biting problem. Whenever she feels emotionally riled up, she has to bite into something. They end up building a relationship around biting one another. That's it. That's the manga. This story sucks so much ass and it's so boring, I really have to wonder what Aosuki Noah, the mangaka, was thinking. I get that niche relationships like this can be hard to push, but Koga-san truly has no direction. In the 14 odd chapters that have been released, we've seen the same gag played out multiple times. The mangaka tried to shoehorn in a love triangle, and I think that's what destroyed this series. Also, why does Koga wear a mask? There's no reason for her to wear such a plain mask that obstructs her perfectly normal face. She takes it off routinely anyway, so this seems like Tsukinoa was trying to do something cute with Koga's aesthetic, but it just takes away from her defining trait. Mochita is a boring guy, and there's absolutely nothing going for him. I don't remember the other girl's name, but she's a shit character too. And that's it. Aside from Koga's mother, who is just a MILF version of Koga, biting habit, the same basic face mask and all, there is no supporting cast here. I could not recommend this manga. There's absolutely nothing of value. The writing sucks. The art is not good. And the characters are just tropes and nothing more. I will say that it seems like Suki Noah is a newbie, so I won't fault them and say they're a bad mangaka. But I feel that Koga-san could have had more intrigue had the two MCs not given into biting one another so quickly. There was nothing for the reader to look forward to, and the mask motif could have worked had Koga been provided the wardrobe to complement the mask. This manga just feels like one of a half dozen ideas that was thought up like an hour before for the pitch meeting, and this was the one that the editor liked the most. I feel no love or commitment here. I fail to see any hints that Suki Noah knew what direction they wanted to go in with their first release. This all just feels very underwhelming. Don't consume bad media, kids. I'm giving Koga-san's biting habit a 2 out of 10.